The bitter feud on the Kibra by election aftermath has now sucked in Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi and his Principal Secretary Dr. Karanja Kibicho as Deputy President Dr. William Ruto trained his guns on the two whom his allies in Parliament allege had a meeting with ODM party leader Raila Odinga where orders were issued to security officers not to arrest the youth who caused the violence. We are aware that Mr. Odinga, Cabinet Secretary Matiangi and PSK Bishop had a meeting the night before the elections at a hotel in Karen. And it is not no wonder then that the goons that were commandeered and commanded by Simba Arati, none of them, either Simba Arati or his goons, none of them can be arrested because they have the protection and the patronage of people in the office of the president. ODM, in a similar fashion, accused the Ruto wing of causing the violence, saying the Kibra poll was Ruto's strategy to reject the handshake and oppose the BBI report. William Ruto is hiding a card. The, the, the Kalele he's making is not about Kibra. William Ruto is preparing, road to de, uh, is preparing himself to defy the BBI at the handshake. This is an initiative that has been started by his boss, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Uru Mugai Kenyatta. It's not about Kibra, we know what he's doing. Ruto, who has accused Odinga of using what he refers to as Baba's militia, in a series of tweets starting November 10 on the Kibra violence, has accused Odinga of undermining the handshake and perpetuating a culture of violence, synonymous with past post-election violence cases. This as calls mounted on the government to arrest and prosecute the offenders. And therefore, we want to tell C.S. Matiangi, the buck stops on your desk. You must today tell us whether it is as a result of the meetings you had or it is because Simba Arati comes from your village that you cannot take action on a Bodindi Nyoro, we sit next to me here. You sent over 150 GSU officers, three companies of GSU officers, to arrest on a Bodindi Nyoro from Moranga. Ruto's allies are still crying foul on the violence, citing the attack of Kimilili MP Didimas Barasa, whom they claim has been flown out of the country for medical reasons. The Kibra poll, seen as Ruto and Odinga match up test for 2022 has triggered such a fierce rivalry between the two who are strategizing on new alliances to succeed President Uhuru Kenyatta. Apol Kamau, K24 Evening Edition.